So how do you use social media for client engagement as a financial advisor? That's what I'm going to go through in this video. Social media, the whole different animal, right? Uh, and I'm sure as a financial advisor, you're like, where do I post? How do I post? How do I stay engaged with my current clients? How do I bring in new leads? I'm, in this video, I'm not going to be going through on how you get more leads through social media. That's a whole different animal. So this video, I'm going to go through how do you create more engagement with your current clients? So that way you're staying in front of them all the time. And I know you try to with emails and newsletters, but social media is a great way to make sure that you're staying in front of your current clients. So that way they're also not visiting other financial advisors and losing you you're then losing them as a client. So but there's a few things that you need to take a look at. Number one, you need to understand what's organic and what's paid. So as you engage with your current clients, you don't want to be spending a whole lot of money to stay in front of them. And so there's certain platforms that are kind of more play, pay to play. And then there's certain platforms that you can reach organically, meaning you can post something and most of your followers or connections will see it. Um, so number one, you need to you need to know what platform they're on. Uh, so number one, so really understand your current clients. So for example, if you're really reaching out to re retirees or current retirees, so they're already out of the business or out of trying to find a new job, um, they are truly retired, more than likely they're all going to be on older social media companies like a Facebook and sometimes a Twitter uh, or X as it's called. And because those have been around for a lot longer, they've adapted to it. That's more than likely where they're at. If you're going after more, you know, pre-retirees or maybe even business owners, more than likely they're, you know, and they're still working, more than likely they're spending more time on LinkedIn uh, as opposed to Facebook or both. So LinkedIn might be a little bit more of a, a, a place that you want to be. Both of these platforms offer organic and paid reach. But the thing is about Facebook, if you try to just post something to your page, a good good majority are not going to see it actually less than 10 percent and some people even say less than one percent will actually see your posts you do have to pay to push that out to your current clients as opposed to linkedin you can still pay to reach more people but your connections a good majority of them will see the things you post if they are if it's good content linkedin will push it for free uh, to your to your followers and your connections on linkedin so there's pros and cons to, to both of these as you want to engage and grow your social media audience. But one of the things that if you want to really just drive that, that connections with your current clients, well, an easy way to do that is create private communities. So what do I mean by private communities? So inside of both LinkedIn and Facebook, you can create a private group. And in these side of these private groups, you don't have to pay to play. You can create this private group and you can invite all your current clients to be a part of it. And then they can share inside this, this private group of what's going on, or maybe some sales that are in the area or garage sales, or, or maybe your local community events that they're going to. And then also you as a, as a business owner, as the admin of the group can share what's going on. Uh, and you know, if you're ha holding a client event or if you're doing something fun and you want to show them what's happening in the office, it's an easy way that you just share with your current clients. So it's a, and it's a great way that you can just, keep that engagement alive with your current clients and, and your current clients will love it because they can share and they can feel like it's a little bit more of a, a secluded group. So when they share something, it's not going out to their all their followers and friends. It's just going to people that they know that are fairly similar to them and they know who they are because they probably come out to a few clients. So it's a really quick way, an easy way to create that client engagement is create private communities. And you can do that on LinkedIn as well. So really fast. That's a, it's a really simple idea that you can create client engagement and keep your clients retained and, and alive and excited about, you know, working with you and your firm. Make sure you hit subscribe for more videos to come out by the proven way. I got plenty of more value that's coming your way. We're going to be posting videos every single week as much as we can on value out to you uh, for marketing, business tips, leadership tips, sales tips on how you can be the best financial advisor you can be.